And the, did you bring those from home? <laughs> no, they're the cities. They're the cities. Oh, we, I love it. Live from Waterloo, Iowa, City Hall Studios. Miss Rocky and Shadiva, North End Update Live. The best show on the internet. And you know it. <laughs> you know what time it is. Boom Shakalaka! Yay! Woo! All right, all right. Well, yes. welcome, welcome, welcome to the North End Update segment of our show. Yes. The Boom Shakalaka. Yes, indeed. The best show on the internet. Don't forget that part. That's right. Yes, I'm Rocky. And I'm Shaviva. And, and this, this is North End, End Update. Update. Shout out to our very special frequent viewers, mm -hmm. Diane Johnson, Crystal Kennedy, my cousin, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Joyce Ann Phillips, Darvell James. Okay, and also John Colfer. Lynn Neal, Amy Rivers, and Brandon Ross. Yes, yeah. we had a great time just this week with Courtney Galloway on Wednesday, who won a $450 scholarship for a 60-hour real estate uh, pre-licensing class. Congratulations yeah. to Courtney. And yes. that will help her access a new career in real estate. And there's the picture. Yes. Her parents were there, Shaviva. Mm -hmm. That was so wonderful to see so much support from her family. It was. Yeah. And to see her earnest um, idea of going into real estate. You know, okay. While we're congratulating, we didn't get an opportunity to last Friday, but I want to say congratulations to Kame and Talani Gillum. That's yes. my son and his new wife. Um, they were married on June 17th. There's a yes. picture of the happy couple. They jumped the broom. Yeah, <laughs> or something <laughs> like that. Yes, congratulations. Um, most, you know, love. Y'all already know this, but I just wanted to acknowledge you. That's for right. your special day. What a wonderful day that was. Um, yeah, it was a great time. Mm -hmm. I loved every single second of it. Yeah. So we want to remind everyone that next month we'll be offering a family membership to the Grout Museum District, which means you'll have access to the planetarium. Mm -hmm. What else? Oh, wow, well, the, the Imaginarium, the Veterans Museum. Yes. Um, Black, Black Stories, Stories Collective, Collective Exhibit, all kinds of great stuff. Yes. And that toy box, Generations of Play. If you have not gotten the opportunity to check that out, it will bring out the inner child in you. You'll have so much fun playing with the life-size toys that are in there. How do I know? How do I know? I went. Okay, yeah. so, yeah, you went you were playing with the light bright. Yes, I did. I had to pull her away. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Our right. guests today are Isoria Greer from Blissfully Tidy Cleaning Service and Kent Shankle, and they'll be joining us in just a few minutes. Mm -hmm. He's recently retiring from the... Being the director of, of the, the Waterloo Arts. Center for the Arts. Yes, indeed. Right. We want to thank our viewers for making us the best show on the Internet. It's true. That's We're right. the best. We're the podcast you can see. You know it. Okay. <laughs> now, we know that it's the news' job to tell you everything that's happening, the good, the bad, and the ugly. Usually the ugly. But if you want good, you come to the right place. Yeah. Right, because there's always something good happening on the North End. And everywhere else. <laughs> okay. Oh, yeah. All right, and also stay tuned because we're going to wrap up Juneteenth with our mm -hmm. guests. They're going to talk about, we're going to talk about how there are two, actually two great celebratory occasions in the black community. That's right. Juneteenth is one of them. Mm -hmm. Okay, and our talking point? Is don't stunt your growth by hanging out with people who have no dreams or ambitions. Somebody might need to hear it because mm -hmm. some folks are just stifling. They will stifle your hopes, stifle your dreams, stifle everything. Stay away from them. That's right. Okay. <laughs> Celebrating six years of positivity from a North End perspective mm -hmm. around here. Mm -hmm. Yes. All right, Shaviva. All right. News flash to our birthday people. Be sure to stick around because you're going to hear your birthday shout out and song near the end of the show. Yes. Kent is going to sing the bass. He's going to hold down the bass today. Okay. Got that? <laughs> okay. Right. And Soria, you're going to be singing soprano, so get ready. Okay. We're looking for an intern. Make sure you make note of that if you know of a person that would like to be uh, in our studio and learn a little bit about our production. 
give us a shout out at northendupdate at gmail.com. Okay, we got a little bit of breaking news too. Oh yes, what is yeah. it, Shaviva? Hey, we said we have two new collabor sustaining collaborators, um, yes. Aria Rose Co-op yes. and Gallagher. Blue Dorn Performing Arts Center. Yes, that's exciting breaking news. It really is. And we've got one more thing. What I'm is sure it? Maybe y'all heard oh, a little bit. Heard. Waterloo. Woo! Waterloo. Woo! Waterloo. Woo! Huh. We're going to ask okay, We're going to have fun that. with that name. <laughs> I okay? know. You'd be like, woo wee. Yeah. Woo, yeah. woo, woo. I don't know what they were thinking, but we're going to find out, I guess, when the mayor comes, right? Right. Yes. Okay, it's time. You waited long enough. We said all that important stuff mm -hmm. just to get to this point where we introduce our, our wonderful, wonderful guest. Yes. yes. Welcome, welcome, first Esoria. Yes. Excuse, <coughs> excuse me. Yes, thank you. Thank you. I'm honored to be here. Yes, yes. You're very welcome. We don't have our microphone hooked up either. We need an intern, y'all. Okay, and Kent. <coughs> yes, welcome. I'm sorry. To, it is great to be back. Yes. Oh, finally, we got you back. It's been a while. In fact, it's been since so Tones. So it has. Yes. Yes. There we go. Yes. That's what was distracting me because I couldn't see. Yep, just a little bit more. What is it? Okay. So that make sure that. We yeah, there we are. Now we're all in the shot. Yeah, I don't know if you can make that tablet better, Lori, or not. Because mm -hmm. we're cut off, see? Kids cut off. There, maybe we could all scoot up. That'll work. Okay, okay well, now that you've been introduced and we've introduced and we shuffled you around a little bit, <laughs> mm -hmm. we, we want to encourage everyone to speak up. Just act like you're Rocky. Just talk loud. Yes, <laughs> yes, because our microphone, um, we need an intern. We didn't get our mic hooked up. Oh. Okay. So, we're going to ask you guys, first of all, um, about the Soul Town. Who knows anything about the Soul Town? Kent? I know who started Bam. the okay. Soul Town. <laughs> oh, he knows it all. Okay. Yes, and this Soul Town this month happens to have a Father's Day feature in it with three fathers that you may or may not know, um, and, and that's just one of the... Um, things in articles in the magazine. Right. Yeah, the, the feature uh, on the fathers shows some very candid moments with them, with their children, and um, it's just really heartfelt. It, um, oh, did you read that? Yes. Nice, yes, I did. nice. And what I like about the Soul Town, can you pronounce this word? This Derek Holmes, he puts a word out yes. every single yes. month. He's he's the word technician, I think. Well, the first thing that caught my oh. eye is North End Update <laughs> and oh. Boom Shakalaka. That's right there right. Uh, at the top of the page. Yes. But it looks like Gratosphere. 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 Yes, and Derek explains Datosphere as uh, it's when something or someone reaches a high level at no cost to them. Hmm. Okay. Gratisphere. Yeah, because gratis means free, right? Yeah. yeah. And then you're in that gratisphere, so I okay. like that. Thank you, Derek. And he breaks it down even further. You can read more about it in the Soul Town magazine. There you go. And Soria, you read the Soul Town? Yes, ma'am. Good. I am a subscriber, yes. Oh, All see right. that? Yes. We didn't, now, we didn't have to work that hard. These guys both know about That's it. That's right. Yes, Our job was already done. And if yes, you would like to get your own copy of the soul town just go to the soul, the soul town, town magazine. Magazine that's right okay so we're going to go ahead to our talking point and sorry we're going to shoot you with a talking point see yes, what you feel about this that's right. all right let's see what is it it's brought to you by grout museum district mm -hmm. and don't stunt your growth by hanging out with people who have no dreams or ambitions now, I know you're a big dreamer because you've been making dreams come true yes, for yourself. Yes, ma'am. Talk about that. So, um, I am a mother of two, mm. a boy and girl, Elijah and Jeremiah, and also their father, Derek Kimbrough. So, um, in the beginning of the process of starting the business, it was rough. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Excuse me. It was very rough. But Derek pushed me, and we just kept on going and had volunteers. Um, Bonds their time to see the vision and opportunity and with small businesses and referrals and it's really taken off and I'm really 
Really excited. Did That's you have anybody one. that tell you, girl, you, you need to quit that, get yourself a, another job, don't do it? Yes, my parents was nervous oh, okay. about, <laughs> yeah. they was nervous, like, oh, you're not going to make it with the money, you know, you're not going to oh. be able to sustain. I said, no, I'm going to make this work, and That's Derek it. was behind me, and I can't complain. I really All can. right. Yes. Oh, I said, it means so much to have somebody that you can really count on yes, for support. Yes, ma'am. Yes. What do you think, Shaviva? Well, this, this saying sort of reminds me of another saying that's in the same vein, and that is if you're the smartest person in the room, it's time for you to find a different room. Mm -hmm. Because that gives you some opportunity to grow and to be around people who, um, who have pushed further that know more than you because that's where you learn more. Yes, ma'am. Um, so. Yes, ma'am. Mm -hmm. How about you, Kent? I bet you've had some naysayers sometimes. Um, try not to focus on those naysayers. There you go. And, um, you know, you alluded to the fact that I've just retired. And so, you know, kind of in that mindset, I've been kind of looking back at uh, kind of the great ride that I've had. And I've worked with so many people that, um, you know, have great dreams and aspirations and, and make them happen. And I've, I've just been so blessed to work with, I mean, artists, so mm -hmm. many artists. And they're, I mean, they're out there, they're working it and putting it out there. Great mentors. Yeah. Um, so yeah, those those don't waste your time. Uh, be around those people who are inspiring and hardworking and, and saying yes. That's right. right. Surround yourself with good people. That's why you're my friend. And you're you're inspirational. Okay, and so are you. And yeah, so right. are you. And so yes. are you. Yes. So are we so, all. Right. Awesome. Let's keep ourselves yes. right. We're surrounding yes. ourselves by like-minded people. All right. So we've and, done and Lori that. out there. Absolutely. Absolutely. Hello. Yes, yes. Definitely. Okay. So now we're gonna have. We just didn't tell you about this part, but we have an exciting drawing. I know there are some viewers waiting to get this done. Mm -hmm. We have. We asked our viewers to write. Hashtag um, Tyler Town, Town if they're interested in winning a $50 gift card for Toddler mm -hmm. Town, which is a great organization. Yes. That no, I was gonna say, if you've seen any of the pictures from the events that are held at Toddler Town, it could be for a, a child's birthday party, it could be for a, a gender reveal or baby shower. It's just beautiful oh, as far as the way things are set up. It so. is, it mm -hmm. is. It makes me want to have a baby. <laughs> <laughs> no, <just> okay, <laughs> yeah. all okay who's going to do the drawing? <laughs> I, I can walk the special okay. guest. We have our special. Oh, like you got special? <laughs> and, and the winner to the $50 gift card Cousin Audrey Walken Green. Oh, Whoa, Audrey! Okay. Yes. Congratulations, right. Audrey Walken Green. Audrey Walken Green. Green. Now yes. you're gonna have a wonderful time with that grandbaby of yours. Oh, I'm sure yes. that's what you were thinking about, Hendrix, right? That baby. Yes, indeed. Well, awesome. Thank you so much for drawing mm -hmm. that name out. Okay, so what do we got next, Shaviva? Give okay. it air. We're gonna talk about our give it air. Yes, yes, yes. We're going to wrap up. We've been uh, all month long. We've been talking about different um, information about uh, Juneteenth and why we celebrate. And so this time, uh, to wrap things up, we pose the question: What do January first, eighteen sixty three, and June nineteenth, eighteen sixty five, have in common? They're both celebrated as Freedom Day yes. in different parts of the African American community. Mm -hmm. Now, while Juneteenth is considered the longest running holiday in the African American and black communities, a lot of African Americans throughout the nation observe December 31st into January 1st as what's called Watch, Watch Night. Night. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Go ahead. Okay, yeah, it commemorates uh, when our enslaved ancestors waited and watched through the night to hear of the reading of the Emancipation Proclamation, okay, um, that would free them from chattel slavery. Now, Juneteenth represents the day when formerly enslaved Africans in Texas found out that they were actually free, even though the rest of the nation had known it for two and a half years. And been free, supposedly, yeah. right? Yep, yeah. and it became a federal holiday in 2021 when Congress passed the Juneteenth National Independence Day Right. And I don't know if uh, any of our viewers or if anyone at the table has ever heard of Watch Night. Yes. The services. Same, yes. same, same. Mm -hmm. I remember growing up as a child going to church with my Aunt Clister Smelly. 
to um, for watch night, and they just have a church service in commemoration of that original watch night. Mm -hmm. And but I didn't really understand what it was about. Same, same. I I knew about watch night, but I just thought, you know, it's um you bringing in your new year with a with a blessing. That was my understanding of it. I didn't realize the the historical root of that as far as people, you know, because the, the, the grapevine or whatever among the enslaved community, they knew everything that was happening because people were always listening. So they knew that the uh, Emancipation Proclamation was coming down the pike. Right. But just that weight, that, that anticipation, official, that official yeah, of announcement. officially hearing it. So Yeah, so Watch Night is the first uh, real holiday that's, that celebrates uh, freedom. Mm -hmm. And then Juneteenth, of course. All right, so hopefully you guys have learned something about the holiday Juneteenth during this month, and this wraps it up for that, and next week we'll start a new Give It Air. Did you want to I, I want to give a shout out to Latanya Graves and yeah. everybody yes. who worked to put on this year's Juneteenth celebration. Oh. Um, we were out there doing a drumming activity with kids and families, wow. and it was just a great event. And um, I had the time of my life. I got some hugs. Oh. And those kids were so into the drum. They were serious. Okay. okay. Uh, they, they were bringing it. Right. So, right. Uh, and, and there were so many other great things there. Um, you know, d don't miss it. Get out there next year. Yes. And, and, and uh, celebrate and recognize Juneteenth. Right. And I think right. Latanya is get, taking a much needed vacation right now. Indeed. There's somewhere yes, in their is. country and all that. Okay. <laughs> yep. Okay. Let's get to talk to Latanya. Oh, I'm sorry. Latanya. No, Not Latanya. Asoria. Asoria. <laughs> yes, I'm thinking yes. Latanya on my mind. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay, Asoria, Shabiba. All right. Um, talk to us about what's going on with your business. I know that from the time that you first um, were on our show yes. and talked about it, yes. I'm sure there's been a lot of change and growth. So, could you just talk about what's going on? Yeah. Yes, ma'am. Um, Blissful Italia has started for two years so far. Wow. Um, we do industrial cleaning, um, standard cleaning, janitorial, and deep cleaning. Um, that ranges from a two two weeks cleaning or weekly cleaning, monthly cleanings. Um, we also take care of residential and commercial. Um, just just a wide range of different um, aspects of people's homes mm -hmm. and what they're looking for and businesses. Um, I do have a few employees, so it's just not oh, me alone. Good okay. for you. You'd have yes. to have help to keep yes. up the growth in the yes. two years. You had quite a few new, probably, clients. Oh, yes. yes. Big time. Good. Major ones that I really appreciate all the efforts and ability to see my work and my efforts and my vision of the business. Mm. Um, yes, yeah, just like a lot of people in the community has really really push me with yes. encouraging words and okay. just give me the the go the go All right. yes, good and what are your price ranges do you have a list for say if i just need somebody <clears throat> to come in and dust <clears throat> <laughs> <laughs> once a week maybe just yes, dust dust and maybe floors Yes, ma'am. Well, can I get a package that just includes that or do you have to come in and do a head to toe top to bottom it just depends on what you're looking for. Okay. So if you're looking for just a, a simple cleaning, that would be, I would just charge starting at $50 oh. and up, okay. depending on what you're asking for. Yes. But yes, ma'am, that's where the starting rate starts at. Yes. And what would you, um, why would you, why did you start a cleaning business? Are you that good? I mean, you look real clean. I just, <laughs> it's, it's more than that to me. Cleaning is more than that. It's like a, a getaway for me. Okay. Fresh, okay. like me stress too. relief, and just find peace in doing your own art. That's my art. Right. Okay. That's my art. Yes, ma'am. I believe it. I've heard about your art, and it's yes, pretty good. Okay. It's pretty good. Yes, We've yes, only heard great things about thank you. you. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Thank you. All right. So now you mentioned that you have um, other people working. How many yes, staff do you have? Or? Um, I have a total of three to four. Um, then, like I said, volunteers as well in right. different um, commercial buildings. Like they only want to oh. do strictly one building, which is fine. So they sure. help with those as with well. Okay. Yes, ma'am. And how can someone get a hold to you? You they can just always eat. contact me through Facebook. Okay. Blissfully Tidy Cleaning Service. 
Um, and then messenger or telephone number is 319-214-0687 or by email, blissfullytidyclingservice.com at gmail, sorry. Awesome. All right. Yes, yes. Awesome. So that's how they can email you. Email me. And yes. Do you have a website? No, I'm okay. still working on that. Okay. Yes, no, I'm still working on the web page. Well, you got the practicing part. You said dot com. Dot com so I'm it's coming. It's coming. Okay. Manifesting. That's Manifesting. Right. Prophetic there. Yes. yes. Thank you. Yes. Thank you, thank you for thank sharing. You. Yes. Well, thank about you. Your, your business. Thank yes. You. Thank you. Now, Mr. Man over here, Clint. <laughs> Clint. <laughs> Kent. <laughs> How are you? How how are you handling this, this, this whole new transition? Phase, this yeah. transition? Are I'm, I'm rolling with it. I, I I'm good with it. I I really was not. I was kind of in denial, and I wasn't like processing it until, <laughs> until about a week ago when I had to sit down with with Melody Parker from the Courier yes. for for a a, a, a feature story, and I had. To, oh, what am I going to say? What what have I been doing for all these years? And kind of had to like look back, and that's kind of when it clicked in. It's like you know, this has been an incredible like a career, an incredible like ride, and so many great opportunities, great experiences, great people, and so it's like it's all good. And um, yeah, I'm a little more relaxed this week. Um, okay. So. How many years has it been, Kent? Uh, I was with the Waterloo Center for the Arts for over 28 years, oh, and wow. uh, prior to that, I worked at the Hearst Center for the Arts for seven. Whoa! Okay. So that's that's 35 years in arts administration. So. Wow. Um, and what and drew you to the arts? Oh, Shabib and I was were talking, and I think your art is creating all the stuff that you do. I think, or do you actually do visual art, performing arts, personally? Do um. You, you know, I, I, when I, I was I mean, thinking back, I was thinking back to those teachers who just really inspired me as a kid, Mrs. Dreyer, who was my first art teacher. Okay. And then um, in middle school, I had Mr. Peacock. And um, what better name for an okay. art teacher than right. Mr. Peacock? Right, exactly. Wow. And I'll have to say, you know, we all get into middle school, and um, very often we kind of, our confidence level kind of drops a little oh, bit. Oh, a lot. Mine yeah. did, and I, so I, I didn't want to express myself for a while. I wanted to hide, so I didn't really make art. Um, but went to college, focused on uh, business, and uh, which was okay, but I wasn't passionate about it. Uh, took a general ed course in art and said, you know, I don't know if this where this will go, but I'm loving this, so I'm just going to keep doing it. And uh, uh, as I was in school, I got the opportunity to start working at the Hearst Center. And oh. um, under Mary Huber, who was an incredible oh, mentor, she is amazing. She hired me off across the counter at McDonald's. Is that right? She, she did, <laughs> and it had been a long time. I had to, my job was kind of it was a secretarial job, and it had been a while since I'd had typing class. So I took the, the one of those placemats and I drew out the keyboard, and I was pretending like I was oh, typing really? between orders so I could go and take the <laughs> typing test. Uh, but as I was secretary, she gave me the opportunity to. Uh, organize an exhibit in the old Main Street School. Wow. And um, so I called up uh, an artist, a, a photographer whose work I admired. I, my background uh, in, in college, my emphasis was photography nice. and art history. So I, I called up this artist who I didn't really know, but she was out of Chicago and her work was incredible. And I said, would you like to show? And she said yes, which was so empowering. Yeah. And I, I think back and it was, I mean, it was the perfect exhibit. She, uh, it was a woman who did these huge, these um, brown, Van Dyke brown prints on bed sheets, mm. um, portraits of women, and they hung on clotheslines in the gallery. So it was like wow. installation and experiential, and it dealt with uh, you know social issues and things, mm. and, and identity, and I mean, being able to do that at that point inspired me to do that for the rest of my career. Wow. Um, yeah. And uh, you know, later coming over to the Center for the Arts and uh, Cami Scully was a, mm. an incredible person to work for, and really, you know, kind of shaped, um, you know, what I've done ever since then. Um, she's a great friend and uh, an incredible person. It seems like you must have always had that sort of ability to connect those dots because I know when um, Mayor Hart was talking about how yeah. much of a change that you brought to the Waterloo Center for the Arts as far as being really forward thinking about the sort of things you wanted to see happening or, or and 
it was just, I mean, I was finding out things about you that I didn't know that, you know. I don't know that I'm so forward thinking. I just, I, I love everything. I want to do everything. Okay. And, and I, like I said, you were, you were asking, you know, about my art. Well, I, I started in photography. And then when I started working in the museum setting, um, I got to start collaborating with all these artists to bring their work and share that. So in a sense, I got to partner with them. Right. And I, it, it kind of spoiled me for my own work. It was my, 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 I knew what I was gonna do. I mean, I knew my own thoughts and I knew what I could make happen technically. And so that didn't excite me as much as being able to work with a new person mm. and like um, kind of explore their art and connect people with it. And uh, because every person brings different experiences and different ideas and, uh, and, and issues to the table and they have different skill sets. And, and so they master different media. And so I got to work on so many incredible things that if I was just in my own work, I wouldn't be able have been able to do. And so I found that to be more of a, a great creative outlet for myself then that's what I meant. I meant your art is basically what you do in expressing, helping others express themselves. When I first met you, we had just written Good Morning Lovey, and you made us feel like we were the only people in the whole art center. You know, <laughs> right. you just took our hand and helped us, helped Shaviva with her exhibit. And we really appreciated that. But what I want to say is that Mayor Hart said that you traveled across the country to get this, um, the Haitian, the Haitian art, exhibit. art exhibit. So that's yeah. a big part of your job. Talk about the highlights, some of the highlights. That had to be one, I bet. Um, so many highlights. <laughs> okay. I mean, I, mean the, I love the fact that this job, every day was different and you never knew what was going to happen next and you know some of the highlights are grand like yeah. going to Paris to put on a conference on oh. Haitian art or going to to Haiti to study uh, Haitian art and meet the artists and mm. collect the work um, but then some of the and, and and driving across country I mean we have had incredible donors who will donate hundreds of works that they've collected their whole life and uh, you know I'm not above getting in a truck and driving across the country. Right. Uh, if somebody's going to give Waterloo something, so well, sure. especially something incredible. So you know, I've gotten to go across country and I'll I'll pack it up and uh, and, and bring it back. But even simple things like uh, like I, I was kind of laughing because this week uh, my job uh, uh, kind of sent me to buy my first pack of cigarettes for an artwork. Oh my goodness. I've, I've, I've never bought a pack of cigarettes before. That's a highlight. And You're going to bring that up for a highlight, Kent. <laughs> I, no, I'm just, I'm, it's oh just an example of how every week it's something different. Yeah, and, that's and, different. And, and there's, there's so many aspects that people, to, to making art happen that people don't realize. And sometimes it's ridiculous and sometimes it's mundane. And, uh, <laughs> but, but yeah, I still haven't bought any cigarettes because they didn't have the kind that the artist specified. So. Well, I'm just getting okay, ready to ask you for square. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so listen, when I, I just want to say, Mr. Matlock, when I, I really, the grasp, this is what really took me when I find, when I, this has been recently. When I saw that you go after people, so if you have a lot of art at home just sitting around and you don't think that it's worth anything, what you brought Mr. Madlock's display, I was so just too outdone. It was beautiful. How did you find him? Well, Lori oh, happened Lori. to suggest that, that Laverne had this incredible talent yes. and uh, you know that I should check it out. And uh, I, I, my, my jaw just dropped walking in the door and seeing yeah. this incredible work. There's, we have so much yeah. talent in our community. And so and many names, we couldn't name them all. Another one, Les Wild, I, I know you just yes. brought him in too. Yeah, I mean, Lori yeah, Dale, yeah, so many. <laughs> yeah, yes. Well, and, and, that, <laughs> and, and when you say, you know, when you did Good Morning Lovey and we did oh, the yeah. exhibit and everything, it, it wasn't just like treating you like you're the only person. It's that, you know, artistic expression is precious. And, mm -hmm. it, 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 and you know, I, I appreciate it. And I also appreciate, um, you know, that it was that, that it was a, a, an art form that was going to reach people in a different way, a mm -hmm. children's book, and um, you know the themes of it were important, and you know I thought it would be something that 
would really benefit the community to know about and, and see. So. Thank you, Ken. And we know that I think you did a book of your own, um, Naomi and her rainbow family. No, Naomi's rainbow family, yeah. kind of inspired by you. Okay. Um, you know, I, I got to, uh, to sit down with my daughters and kind of work through some things that they were going through um, and, and to kind of uh, share kind of what was happening in our family um, through a children's book as well. So. Also, which other yes. people can identify with Absolutely. and it's very helpful for lots of families. So we're, I know we're going to get the signal to wrap it up. I, but know, I know you're I, No, I was just thinking to myself, no, I mean, because I could ask question I after question. We could extend this so much longer, but um, hmm. So. No, um, we just um, are thankful to have you in the community and all the things you've done and looking forward. Um, I hope you get a chance to do all kinds of great things that just have everything to do with what you just feel like doing in this phase of your life. What do you plan on doing? Well, that's my plan, doing everything wonderful that just comes my way. Well, All right, then. Sure, it looks like you need to be somewhere in Hawaii sitting, drinking a pina colada on the beach or something. Well, I wouldn't mind <laughs> taking a few uh, excursions, there but this go. is home. I'm not going anywhere, and uh, I love Waterloo, and um, right. I'm, I'm, I'm staying here. I'm glad um, you'll be here. <laughs> yes. We got your number. I got him on speed dial, Lori. Okay. Shaviva. <laughs> okay. Okay. We want to thank Asori. Am I saying your name right? Asoria. Asoria. Okay. You let us go the whole. It's okay. Bless your heart. Asoria. And it's so easy to mispronounce. So Asoria, thank you so thank much. You. Thank you. For being here. As well as you, kids. And best, best wishes in your future. Thank you so much. Yes. I can see a lot of relaxing, hopefully. Okay. All right. Now it's time to sing to those birthday people. We got to wrap it up, Ed said. Yes. Who we, we got for a birthday? Well, you know, we got the best birthday people. Of ever. course. We always have the best. That's right. We got happy birthday, Reverend Thomas Flint. Yes. Gregory Gentry. Hello. My cousin, Anthony Quinn. Hi. Tiani Carrasco. Grant Veter and Felicia Smith Knowles. Happy mm -hmm. birthday. Right, the ever popular Orlando Ray Dial. Yes. Happy birthday. Troy Williams, DJ. DJ Commando. Commando. Okay. Cherie Kaba, the uh -huh. lady of the hour. David yes. Rainey, Michael Moore, and Liberty Bell. Happy birthday, folks. Yes, and I'm sure you would agree. Couldn't fit more perfectly. Gotta have a world party. On the day you came to be. Happy birthday to you. He's down the back. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday. Woo! Did we actually, were we actually audacious enough to sing happy birthday to Felicia? <laughs> Felicia Smith, there you go. really, seriously, Felicia, yeah. forgive us. Yes. <laughs> but we did, we sang loud. We couldn't sing good, but we did sing loud, okay? <laughs> that's our, that's our, what is it? That's right, that's our, our motto. Our that's motto, right. mantra. All of that. Okay, we got some great upcoming shows. As seasoned women, mm -hmm. we've seen some things that are, few things that we've learned. Oh. I've learned that to be with those. What did I learn should be? Though? You learn. I don't read. You can tell she doesn't know. I've learned, I've learned that to be with those, those I, I like, like is, is enough. enough. Thank you. Okay. okay, if you learned that, then I learned something else. Okay, I'm what did you learn? Read this one. <clears throat> okay. I've learned <laughs> that it's not what I have, but who I have in my life that matters most. Amen. That's the truth. It's kind yes. of been a theme of this show. Yes, yeah. that's right. Yeah. Forget the naysayers. Okay. All right, and until next week, we want to encourage all of our viewers mm -hmm. to do just as much as makes you awesome, like Esaria. That's right, <laughs> yes. and like Kent. Yes. Because it, it makes, makes us all look good. Hey. Right, all and right. remember if it's Friday, it's, it's North, North End, End Update. Update. See you next See week. You next time.